Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Welcome one more time. Okay, Miguel. Okay, people, we are going to start tonight. Welcome one more time. Please turn on your camera and respond present. Okay. Well, first, Miguel Angel Dominguez. It says that he's in the, the bus. <laughs> okay. Olga Marlene Gomez. Are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Good evening, Guadalupe. Good to see you again. Um, Senaida America Dominguez. Senaida. And yet. Then Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Hello, welcome one more time. Thanks teacher. Now, uh, Nadelmi Herrera. Ah, Nadelmi Herrera. Not yet. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Good evening. Welcome. <clears throat> Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Oh, hello, Linda. Good to see you hello, again. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Ana Marisol. Ajet. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Nelson Ivan. 
Argent. Carla Verónica Suria. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Ángel Najet. Okay. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Welcome, Irma. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Mayra Roxana. Not yet. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Carlos Alberto. Not yet. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Very good. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, welcome. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Silvia Suleima, I see you there. Present teacher. Okay. Good evening. Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present teacher. Yes, yes. Silvio Ajet. And Joana Beatriz Orellana. Okay, good. Very good. ¿Quiénes llegaron ya? Que no estaban. Mi teacher, good evening, Zenaida. Oh, Zenaida, ok. Wells, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más? Carlos Meléndez, presente. Ok, Carlos, Carlos. ¿Alguien más? Ok, muy bien. Bueno, para empezar esta noche... Vamos a Okay, very good. Well, last night you were writing your abilities, three abilities and three things you cannot do. Okay, you remember? I can, for example, if I say I can speak English, I can memorize, uh, I, uh, I, some information or uh, I can uh, what uh, use a computer okay so that's all those are some abilities I have um I can't I can't uh, speak French or I can't drive a truck or oh, I can't um, I don't know use uh, 
uh, um, what technology I cannot use, for example. I don't know. So I can't use a, 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 a printer, right? Yes, it's on. Okay, so now you are going to talk about that in pairs, okay? I'm, I'm going to put you in, in trios, maybe in trios. We are 16, yeah, we can make trios. In trios, and you're going to talk about your abilities and things you can do and things you cannot do for a moment, okay? Um, Oh, I had something here before just to warm up. Algo para, para calentar. Les tenía por acá. Este vamos a. Calentemos un poquito antes. Look at this picture. Here we have uh, Tom, Jerry. What is the name of this cat? Silvestre. Silvestre. Silvestre, okay. And Piolin, yeah. And there are some abilities here. Run fast, fly, sing well, ride a bike, play the piano. Okay, we have some. And the checks mean that they can do it. And the X means that they cannot do it. For example, Tom can run fast. Okay, Tom can run fast. That is one ability Tom has. Yeah, lo usamos. Right? What about um, uh, another ability. So I will give you, I will ask you about one of these characters uh, and you are going to tell me what he or she can or cannot do. Okay? For example, if I ask, uh, uh, let's go by the way. Uh, 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 okay. If I ask Caroline, Caroline, tell me what can Jerry can or cannot do? What can Jerry or what can or cannot Jerry do? Caroline? Yes, teacher. Um, repeat. What? Can or cannot Jerry do? ¿Qué puede o que no puede hacer? Sí. Give me one sentence. What can or cannot Jerry do? Um, um, Rides a bike. Hey, but give me the sentence. Jerry no puede tal ah, o tal ah, cosa. Ah, okay. Sí. Jerry cannot, can't, perdón, can't uh, ride a bike. Okay, very good. Thank you. Zenaida, what about Silvestre? Silvestre, Silvestre can't can't fly. Ah, okay, very good. Carlos, Violin. Violin can't run fast. Okay, very good. Uh, Linda, let's go back to Tom. Tom can't fly. Okay, Alejandra, Jerry. Jerry um uh, 
room fast. Jerry. Jerry can room fast. Ah, okay, good, very good. Linda. Pasó con Linda, ya pasamos con Linda. Yes, teacher. Sí, verdad, sí. Es que como aquí se me mueven las cámaras, las... Como apagan, encienden, apagan, encienden, se me están moviendo. <laughs> ok, Suleima. What about uh, Silvestre? Tell me something about Silvestre, Suleima. Suleima. No, oh, she's frozen. Olga. Silvester, Silvestre. Ah, it died. Silvestre can no. Le estoy hablando, no me escucha. Sí, sí, pero se te pone bien lento. Se pone lento, Suleima. A ver, volvemos contigo después, Zulema. Tal vez se te estabilice el Inter. Olga, tell me something about Silvestre. Oh, yeah. Silvestre can't play the piano. Ah, ok, very good. A ver, uh, vamos con Claudia. Tell me something about Piolín. Violin can fly. Okay, very good. Nelson, tell me something about Tom. Tom can run fast. Good. Irma, tell me something about Jerry. Excuse me, teacher. Tell us something about Jerry. Jerry. Mm. Jerry can't fly. Okay, good. Uh, Carla, Silvestre. Okay, uh, Silvestre can, can sing well. Can't sing well, okay. Xiomara, violin. Violin, he can run fast. Can run fast. Okay, 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 very good. Uh, okay, so un calentamiento, ¿verdad? The, the use of can and can't. So I will send you to your groups, to working groups, and share about your abilities what can you do and what you cannot do okay not like five minutes to practice okay go to your groups and see you in five minutes Hola, Suleima. Ahora sí se ve bien la imagen. Desde un rato se le congeló y ya no le escuchábamos. Ok, excuse me. No, no problem. Estamos en los grupos compartiendo las habilidades propias, las okay. personales. Okay? Tiene por ahí la invitación. Para el grupo quiero ver. Ah, no, no le he agregado, no estaba. Todavía no. Ahorita le envío. 
Gracias. Ok, ahí está. Gracias. Man, people, you should be talking about your abilities, sharing your abilities. Yeah. We, we are finished, teacher. Oh, really? Very fast. Yes, yes. yes. Only Miguel Angel falta. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, it says Sylvia. Can we help a person Lego with Tobu? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. No. Sylvia can help a person for Lego with Tobu. Pero ahí no es donde, si lo puedo hacer, dijo que debíamos darle el énfasis en la fuerza. You can play with her boy. Okay. Or oh, with, yeah. yes. Yes. Okay. okay. She can with her boy. I can. Mm. 
Okay, people, welcome back. A ver, si yo quiero preguntar, por ejemplo, ¿qué puede hacer eh, Olga? ¿Cómo hago esa pregunta? A ver, no se vayan al Google ahorita. No sí, se vayan. Sí. No, mi pregunta es, ¿qué puede hacer Olga? What can, what can Olga do? Correct. That is the question. Okay. What can Olga do? Ya vio, teacher, y no nos fuimos. ¿Ah? No nos fuimos aquí, le respondí. Ah. <laughs> uh, what can Olga do? ¿Verdad? Vaya, entonces les pregunto eso. A ver, yo no sé quiénes estuvieron con, con Olga. Tell me, what can Olga do? A ver, los que estuvieron con Olga, cuéntenme algo. Uy, no le pusieron atención. No hablaron. Chicken ¿Qué pasó? Cook. Can ah, cook chicken. Ah, chicken cook chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that true, Olga? Yeah, it's true. Ah, okay, okay, good. Okay, so tell me, what can Suleyma do? People? What can Suleyma do? Uh -huh. A ver, ¿quién estuvo con Suleyma? Mi teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. And Sylvia can help person for legal trouble. Ah, okay, very good. And voy a conectar mi internet con mi cable porque creo que hay mucha gente en mi casa con el Wi-Fi. Ahí está. 
Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, what can uh, Senaida do? Where? Senaida can organize team. Ah, okay, very good. What can Xiomara do? Xiomara can't drive a standard car. Can't drive, okay. Now, what uh, cannot uh, Claudia do? What cannot Claudia do? Uh -huh. No hablaron de eso. Teacher. Ajá. Eh, yo estaba en el grupo de Claudia, pero lo que pasa es que no alcanzó el tiempo y yo les estaba diciendo las mías y ya no me alcanzaron a decir las de ella. Ah, ok. okay. Eh, eh. Eh. Entonces preguntémosle a Claudia. Claudia, are you there? Claudia, no, ese no salió, Claudia. Ahí no, está. aquí estoy, no la veo. Ah, ya la veo. Ok, Claudia, what can not you do? Tell us something that you cannot do. I can't uh, swim. Oh, so, ok, be careful when you go to the beach. Uh -huh. Ok. What can not uh, Linda do? People? People who was with Linda? What can not Linda do? Did you tell them, Linda? Estaba con el grupo de Carolina, entonces no me alcancé. Okay. Yes, so it's the same group. What can not you do, Linda? I can't play piano. Ah, okay, okay. Very good, very good. Eh, ahora, otra, otra pregunta. A ver, ¿cómo preguntaríamos quién puede, eh, por ejemplo, tocar la guitarra? ¿Cómo hacemos esa pregunta? Who can play the guitar? Yeah, Who can play the guitar? Muy bien. Ok. Ok, vamos a ver. No sé si habrá alguien en el grupo. If, si yo pregunto. Hey, people. Who can play the guitar? Nobody can play the guitar here? Hmm. Oh, oh, come on. I okay. can't play the guitar. <laughs> you can play the guitar. Oh, you see. I can't. Can't. Can. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who can uh, ride a motorcycle? Who can ride a motorcycle? Nobody can ride a motorcycle. No. Okay. Only bike. Only bike. <laughs> I was about to ask who can ride a bike. Who can ride a bike? Huh? I can ride a bike. You can ride a bike. Senaida can ride a bike. Me too. I can ride a bike. Linda can ride a bike. I can uh, ride a bike. Carlos can ride a bike. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Olga can ride a bike? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, who can swim? Me. Oh, Olga can I, swim. I swim. You can swim? I can swim. Ah, okay. I can swim more or less. 
Ah, okay. Good. Very good. Oh, okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. So we learn how to use can and can't to talk about our abilities, okay? Now we are going to see something a little bit similar, a little bit similar, okay? Let me share screen and now we are going to go to the book. Now, in this, uh, lesson we are going to talk about benefits i would or i could bring to a company so at the end of the class you will be able to talk about benefits you could or you would bring to a company okay um well, let's go. There is a couple of questions here. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Three ways you contribute to the company's mission. Interesting question. Can you tell me three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Tell me. Do you contribute to your company's mission? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, right. Okay. Tell me three ways you do that. At least one. <laughs> I can honesty uh -huh. uh, in the company. Okay, being honest in the company. I can in punctuality in the company. Okay, be punctual. Be punctual. Being punctual. Mm -hmm. I can Com resolve in trouble for uh, about border. Okay, solve problems about uh, the border. Uh, aduana, border lines. Aduana, customs. Customs. Customs, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, ¿Cómo dirían eh, alcanzar mis metas? A ver, alcanzar mis metas. No, dentro de la, del trabajo, ¿no? Dentro de la compañía. ¿Cómo se dice metas? Eso ya lo sabemos, ya lo hemos visto. Go. Go. Ok, go. Reach me. Go. Yeah. Reach. Ok. Could you use reach? Pero hay otro, otro verbo mejor para hablar de alcanzar, de lograr. Búsquenlo, búsquenlo. Lo diríamos. Alcanzar, lograr. Ajá, achieve. Achieve. Okay. Achieve. Achieve. Achieve my, my goals. goals. Okay. I achieve my goals. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Um, it's another question here. What benefits do you provide to your company? Wow, pregunta más fuerte. What benefits do you provide to your company? Uh 
Reduce cost in company. Reduce cost. Ah, okay. Good. Why they shouldn't fire you? ¿Por qué no te deberían despedir? <laughs> Why they shouldn't fire you? Uh, so what benefits you provide to your company? I can ability uh, the kids in my case. Uh -huh. What ability with the kids? Uh, I can ability um, uh, Atiens. I cannot, I cannot believe uh, my kids' empathy. Okay. So in the, I have. In the company. Uh, you have empathy with the kids. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. In my, in my case. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, people, the rest of you. Okay, think about that. Piensen, piensen en eso. Luego lo vamos a, a volver a ver. Okay, let's take a look to this conversation. Okay, here. It's a conversation between Andre. Aquí está de nuevo Andre. Pero ahora está con Kurt. Kurt. Mm -hmm. Andre and Kurt. Yeah. Listen. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this comp mm, look, can you bring to this company as employ as an employee? Mm, esta pregunta no está completa. Yo le agregaría aquí un what. What can you bring to this company as an employee? Ahí está. Se entiende. ¿Qué puedes traer? What can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, one more time, listen. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, Here. sir. No, no, listen. Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay. Very good. Now, listen and repeat, please. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Kurt, Kurt, Kurt how, how comfortable do you, do, do you feel working in the sales area? Area. Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. 
I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? As an employee? I, am I am sure about that. About that. Look, what can, what can you bring to this, to this company, company as an employee? As an employee. I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Yes, yes. And because, and because of, my of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, very good, very good. Now, I am Andre and you are Kurt, okay? I begin. Third, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be, be a great in the company because of my in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, because of my experience as a manager, I could be great to help in large projects. Okay. Alguien tiene una distorsión ah, okay. ahí uh -huh. que está un poco grosera. <ríe> no sé, ok, gracias. Bien, vamos ahora. You are Andre and I am Kurt. So you begin. One, two, three. Here. Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am I sure about that. Sure about that. About that. Look, look what you can company as an employee. employee. I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. I saw it. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, very good. Well, observe these phrases. This would be a great opportunity. This would be a great opportunity. Esta sería a great opportunity. I would be a great asset in the company. Yo sería un gran activo en la compañía. I could be of great help in large projects. Yo podría ser de gran ayuda in large projects. Okay. So we use this form to talk about possibility in the future. You see, we use would be to talk about, we can use would be or could be to talk about possibility 
in the future. Look at these examples. I would be a great asset. I could be of great help in the sales department. Okay? Possibility in the future. Would be and could be. All right. Now, I will send you to work in groups in pairs to practice the conversation and to respond these two questions. What would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? And do you consider that experience is important? Do you consider that experience is important? And why? Why? Okay. So, uh, but before going to work in pairs, I'm going to take the second attendance. Y luego, you will go to work in pairs to practice this conversation and to respond the question. Oh, let me take the second attendance. Please respond present. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present, teacher, present. Very good. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present, teacher. Okay. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present, teacher. Okay. Senaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Very good. Anadelmi Herrera. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Very good, thank you. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Oh. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Verónica Suria. Present teacher. Good. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Good. Carolina Yamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay. Silvio Enrique Cortez. Present. Okay. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Okay. Okay, very good. Let's go to the breakout rooms. Yes. Um, let me see. Moment.
Okay. Okay, go to your groups and practice the conversation.
Cost. Cost. Reduce cost. Don't need capacitation. Attend the company. Process facilities. Okay. I think capacitation. Of, of his ex, experience in the construction industry. Mm -hmm. Okay. La segunda dice, do you consider that experience is important? And yeah. why? COVID of great help in large projects. Okay. You are Andre and I Carl. Yes. Kirt. Kirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. How comfortable, comfortable. Ay, se me trabó la lengua. Comfortable. Uh -huh. area pretty comfortable so with my experience i can say with i can say this will be a great opportunity i am sure about that look can you bring to so, this so, company solo ahí, solo ahí recuerda que después de antes de ken va la palabra what uh -huh. pretty comfortable Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, with my spring, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be, I get a sense in the company because of my experience in the cons 
construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay. Otra vez, si quiere, para que. Okay. Veamos. Here, how Okay, welcome back. Okay, who can tell me one benefit of having Kurt in the company? Tell me one, one benefit of having Kurt in the company. Kurt could be of great help in the large project. Ah, okay. Me teacher. Uh-huh, yes. The benefits of having Kurt in the company is his experience in the construction industry um okay one more is there one more okay and the second question says do you consider that experience is important yes ah. Yes, teacher. Yes, it's important. Ah, yes, okay. Teacher. Why? Yes. Give, me, give me one uh, reason. Why? Uh, yes, it's very important when developing uh, a project or a function is a company that already has experience experience to better de de develop Develop. Oh, ¿cómo, se ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra, teacher? Develop. Develop. Uh, develop. Develop the job. Develop the job and the and contribute contribute to the growth of the company and we together with it. Okay. Okay. Good. Another another reason. 
experience in reduce mistakes in the company. Ah, okay. Reduces mistakes. Yes. One more. No more. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, it's important because uh, I need experience for resolution mm -hmm. the situation in my job. Okay, okay. Very good. It's important. Now, uh huh. The security disappeared. Okay. Very good. Okay, I would like to hear some of you practicing the conversation. Let me start with uh, Alejandra and Claudia. Can you please show the conversation to the class? Please. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Um, okay, here, how comfortable do you feel working in the same area? Very comfortable. Share with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? An employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds right. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great, great help in large projects. Okay, thank you. Very good. Now let's hear a Carla and Olga. Okay, teacher. <laughs> How comfortable do you feel working in this in the area? Pretty comfortable. Sure. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Finish. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, let you hear. Let me see. Linda and Sylvia. Okay. Okay. Kiro, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, very good, very good. I just want to share, well, let's see. This word is kind of uh, complicated, but let me... Just to show you, okay, for the pronunciation of this word. Yeah, let me let me show you. Remember this page. I recommend this. Comfortable. 
Can you hear? Comfortable. 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 Ah. Listen. Comfortable. 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 Okay. Comfortable. Vean, vean dónde va la fuerza. Comfortable. 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 Ah. Comfortable. Comfortable. Ok, Comfortable. ¿verdad? Vamos a escribir. ¿Dónde va la fuerza? Va la aquí o. en la primera o. o. En la primera o. Comfortable. 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 Ok. En la primera o. Ahí va la fuerza. Comfortable. 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 Mm -hmm. comfortable. Ahí todavía algunos le hacen ahí con comfortable. No. Comfortable. Es directamente en la primera. Com. Comfortable. Hagan fuerza. Así ex exageren la entonación. Comfortable. 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 Exacto. Comfortable. 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 Muy bien, sí. por ahí es. Dicho ¿Eh? de que quizás a veces nos confundimos con la pronunciación como pronunciar las últimas sílabas de table como table. Entonces quizás ahí es donde nos perdemos. Y es comfortable, ¿verdad? Como affordable. Affordable. Sí, es, es una pronunciación un poco rápida, ¿verdad? Comfortable. Oigan. Comfortable. Ya, yeah. comfortable. Comfortable. No es table, ¿verdad? Y es, es, es bien reducido el sonido. Comfortable. Casi como de. Comfortable. Es una T bien suave. Comfortable. ¿No, no? Y nos cuesta a veces porque eh, en español el, el, el la fuerza ven otra parte, ¿verdad? Confortable. Ahí. Y ahí tendemos a ponerla. Pero la pronunciación de esta palabra en inglés va a. La fuerza, como ven, va en la primera O. Comfortable. ¿Eh? Pero ahí tienen esa herramienta como para poder, eh, cuando haya dudas, ¿verdad? Tenemos acá, eh, veamos la pronunciación. Comfortable. Yo, esta es la que más he conocido y he usado. Que oigan, es totalmente diferente. Comfortable. ¿Ve? Te come la, la sílaba de en medio prácticamente. Pero dice conf. Comfortable. 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 Ok. ¿Lo escuchan? Es bien diferente. Comfortable. No. Pero la pronunciación americana es otra. Comfortable. Ok. Bien. Si quería nada más mostrarles eso, ¿verdad? Podemos usar cualquiera de estas, ¿no? Que son las más comunes. No, American English. Comfortable. Comfortable. O British English. Comfortable. Comfortable. Pero como ninguna se parece al español, aunque se escribe igual. ¿Verdad? Comfortable. Quizá este es más fácil porque solo es el comf. Comfortable. Comfortable. Ahí ustedes decidan con cuál se queda. Ok, eh, otra palabrita, eh, verdad, solo por ahí porque la escuché en algunos de los que estaban uh, practicando. Dice. Hola. No he, 
no he podido pronunciar y no hay bien la pronunciación de hacer, hacer o, a, ah, o hacer. Ah, hacer. bueno. Vamos. Bueno, ya saldremos de la duda. Ya vamos. ¿Está? Experience. No. No, no, estoy Está viendo en... otra. ¿Están viendo la pizarra? Sí. Experience. Experience. Sí. Experience, ok. Experience. 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 Bueno, Experience. Veamos, la fuerza va aquí. Experience. Experience. Ok. Luego, esta otra que está ahí. ¿Verdad? ¿Esta? ¿Cómo sería? Industria. Industria. Yeah. Muy bien, vean. Ah, como es parecida al español, muchos dicen industry. Pero no, la fuerza va en la primera sílaba, en la primera I. Industry. 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 Okay. Veamos la que dice Xiomara. Acá está. Tenemos, veamos los de American English. Asset. Okay. Asset. 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 Mm -hmm. British English. Asset. Es similar. Asset. Very similar. Asset. ¿Dónde va? ¿Dónde va? Asset. La, la fuerza va en la, en la A. Asset. Asset. Okay. Ok, repitamos estas sí, tres sí, sí. Que, hemos, que hemos practicado. No problem, you're welcome. Ok, veamos. Pues. Comfortable. 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 O la otra, si la quieren. Comfortable. 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 Ajá, ahí prácticamente desaparece esto. Comfortable. Desaparece eso. Ajá. Comfortable. 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 A mí me gusta más esa, es más. A mí también es más fácil. It's more easy. Ok. Experience. 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 Industry. 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 Asset. 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 Okay. 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 Very good. Teacher, ¿y área? ¿Es area o área? Area. So it's area. 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 Yeah. Okay. Area. Area. Okay, very good. Let's continue now with our material. Um, okay. Dijimos el uso del would be or could be to talk about a possibility in the future. Okay, in the future. We have here some sentences to put them in the correct order. Okay.
Voy a modelar la primera. Comencemos la con. Oh, 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 oh. Está. Ok, the first one. Comencemos con it. It would be a great. Ok, a great. It is starting. Mm. A great opportunity. A great yes. opportunity. Uh -huh. wow. To study. To study. Correct. It would be a great opportunity to study. Okay. Sería una gran oportunidad para estudiar. Y abroad. Y la palabra y abroad. abroad. Oh, abroad. Ah, faltó. Abroad aquí al final. To study abroad. ¿Qué es abroad? ¿Saben qué es abroad? En el extranjero. ¿verdad? Muy bien. To study abroad. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Sería una gran oportunidad de estudiar en el extranjero o para estudiar en el extranjero. Ok. Continue with the other four, please. And we'll check in a few minutes.
Please raise your hand when you finish.
Escuché lo que dijo el teacher antes. Oh, estamos haciendo el ejercicio 5, la página 12. Ok, hey, thank you, teacher. Okay, so can you please write in the chat sentence number two? Write in the chat, please, sentence number two.
Mm, no, Suleyma. No, yeah, not really. Could be. Um, no, no, Linda. What could be beneficial? Uh, nope. Ah, uh -huh. yes, Silvio. Um, uh, Ok, Silvio is good, solo que te comiste una palabrita. Four. Four, correct. Okay, Senaida, good a training. Oh, our four is al revés, Senaida. Take it easy, Olga, take it easy. Number one, number one. Okay, let's. Let's write number one. Let me share the book. Number one must be a training. Could be beneficial for our employee. This is number one. A training could be beneficial for our employees. Una, una capacitación sería beneficiosa para nuestros empleados. Hey, what about number two? Ahí está y ahora number, uh, I mean number three, number three. Ahí está ya number two. Yes, very good, Silvio. Yes, Silvia, very good. Okay, Miguel, está bien. Muy bien, Carlos. Muy bien, Xiomara. Ah, pero Xiomara sirvió dos veces working. Muy bien, Caroline. Mm. 
Okay. Working less hours would be another benefit. Working less hours would be another benefit. Muy bien. O incluso como lo puso Miguel, another benefit would be working less hours. También suena bien. Okay. What about number four? Have a happy weekend off. Will be a good option to start. Uh, A ver, la number four es pues mejor si la comenzamos con Weekends Off. Esto es un poco complicado, un poco raro, pero. Weekends Off. No, todavía no. Un poco enredada, pero comiencenla con weekends off. Weekends off would be a good option. Ah, a good option. To have a happy. Yes, to have a happy. Stop. Stop. Yes. Weekends off would be a good option to have a happy staff. Está un poco enredada esta. Uh, Acuérdense de llevar, poner todas las palabras, ok. And the last one. Maria could be of great help in the inventory yeah. department. Ah, okay. Could be of great, great help in the inventory department. Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. All right. Okay. Well, 
Let's practice these sentences. So let me write the first one. Uh, it would be. Uh, great opportunity to study abroad. Um, Okay. Let's practice, okay? Repeat after me. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. It would be a it great, would be a great, would be a great opportunity, opportunity to study abroad. abroad. A training could be beneficial for our employees. A training a could training be, could be beneficial, beneficial for, our for our employees. Working less hours would be another benefit. Working less hours would be another benefit. Weekend off would be a good option to have a happy staff. Weekend off will be a good option to have a happy staff. Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. Okay, very good. Very good. Sí, se, se va a deshacer. Cinco minutos. Five minutes. Ok, people. Very good. Ya me dio hambre. Ok, let's stop here. I'm going to take the last attendance. Um, les voy a dejar por ahí en el WhatsApp algo para que lean. Eh, y una tablita. Mañana lo vamos a trabajar para usar un poquito más esta estructura, esta, esta, um, esta forma, este lenguaje. ¿okay? Pero ahí se los voy a dejar en el WhatsApp. Ahí lo, lo ven al tener tiempo. Ok, let's take the last attendance. Um, please respond present. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present. Teacher. Very good. Thank you. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present teacher. Okay, Olga. Uh, the personal session is with you tonight, okay? Mm -hmm. And tomorrow is Claudia Guadalupe, okay? Tomorrow. Teacher. So, Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Okay, good night, people, except Olga. Don't go, Olga. <laughs> Denaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Good night. Good. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Ana Hernandez didn't show up. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Very good. Have a good night. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Night. Didn't show up. Uh, Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, good night, Nelson. See you tomorrow. Good night. Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. Angel Alexander Guardado. Present teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Irma is working, I know. Mayra Roxana Hernandez didn't show up today. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present. Okay, Carlos. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. 
Present teacher. Good night. See Good you night. Tomorrow. See you. Silvia Zuleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Silvia. Have a good night. Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present. Good night. Good night, Silvio. See you tomorrow. And Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Joanna. Okay, very good. Okay, people, that's all. Ah, sí, ya se fueron. <laughs> <laughs> Es que yo estaba viendo la hoja de la lista, no la pantalla acá. Okay. How are you, Olga? I'm fine. I'm relaxed. I'm tired too. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> How is your work going? Um, I work in UNES. In yes. Yes. You sell clothes, yes? Yes. Too. And how, how, is, how is your work doing? Como uh, está? How is your work? Is good? Ah, my work. Yes. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good? Are, yeah. you, are you selling a lot of clothes? Uh, I have a, um, como se dice, tienda online. Ah, online store, an online store. Yes, I have a, an online store and I, ah. I sell the clothes. Oh, it's only online. And what is the name of your store online? Se llama Rios Boutique. Rios Boutique. Ah. Yeah. Okay, it's good to know. Yes, Rios Boutique. And, pero más que todo los anuncio en, en los grupos. Ah, in groups. Group. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But you have a Facebook. Yes, you have a Facebook have, page. Yes, I have a Facebook page. I have a account on Marketplace. Ah. In La Casa de CV. In Ganga de Totip. Bueno, son como 15 grupos donde yeah. publico. Siempre sale alguna ventecita, pero ese es un extra. Ah, that's an extra. I have my work, my work in San Salvador. Ah, you are an employee? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, anything else? Anything, something that you want to reinforce tonight? Something you want to practice? Oh, yeah. En esta última parte mm -hmm. de, tenía, te, tengo una duda. Todos okay. deben de empezar con algún verbo o depende del contexto. En esta última parte de estructurar oraciones. Ya. Yeah. No hay acá algo así como una estructura fija, ¿verdad? Um, eh, como vimos en este ejercicio que hicimos, por acá tengo yo las respuestas, ¿no? Uh -huh. no, no hay eso, ¿no? Simplemente estamos viendo el uso del would be y uh -huh. del could be para hablar de algo que puede ser en el, en el futuro, ¿no? Podría, ¿no? Ese podría. Eh, obviamente uh, estamos hablando de, de algo, de alguien que podría traer o causar tal o cual cosa. Uh -huh. 
por ejemplo, acá podríamos decir que en la primera, it, okay. it would be. Pero de ahí que vamos a decir, lo que sigue después de would be es un verbo. No. No. Pero no. Porque prácticamente el verbo es este, would be. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Que estamos diciendo sería. Uh -huh. De ahí eh, lo demás, por ejemplo, en el caso de la, de la, de la lección de hoy, estábamos hablando de, de una persona y qué podría aportar a la empresa. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Ahí como ven los ejemplos que tenemos aquí, estamos hablando de, de mí. ¿no? I, I would be a great asset. Yo sería. Eh, bueno, un, un gran activo en la empresa. Uh -huh. I could be. Yo podría. Yo podría. ¿No? Yo podría ser. Siempre usamos el, el vivo. Ser. Ah, de gran ayuda. Pero eh, definir una estructura y así va a ser siempre es bien complicado acá. No, no tenemos. No, por ejemplo, si yo le digo uh, tu idea podría ser. Eh, eh, difícil de de realizar ¿no? o tu idea podría eh, traer muchas ventas e, e, ese, ese manera de expresar possibility ¿no? y que lo estamos usando básicamente con el verbo be podría ser sería ¿No? Es como estructurarla entonces. Sí. Es lo que quiera decir. No. No, no es. Eh, el cambio sería bueno. The change would be good. Uh, the change would be good. A lo, mm, mucho que podría yo decirles era un, un, un sujeto, algo de que estamos hablando, el verbo que en este caso sería, would be, could be. Y lo que queremos decir de eso, ¿no? Que, que más, más que todo un complemento. ¿Verdad? Es como, contexto, es como un contexto, buscarle un contexto para lo que queremos expresar entonces. Claro, cuando usted quiere decir que algo podría ser, alguna cosa podría ser tal otra. Podría... Puede ser un objeto, una persona, un objetivo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Mañana lo que yo les quiero mostrar eh, es, es cómo poder usarlo esto, hablando como, como en la entrevista que vimos aquí al principio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I would be, I could be. No, um, digamos. Es una manera más práctica de contestar. Sí, ¿verdad? por ejemplo, no quiero que lean esto, esto se lo voy a compartir. Quiero que lean este, este artículo chiquito de The, mo the ten most common job interview questions. O sea, las comunes palabras, preguntas más comunes. ¿no? entrevista. Por ejemplo, si le, le, eh, le preguntaron, ¿no? Why should we hire you? ¿Por qué debería contratarlo? Ah, oh, I could be of great help in the sales uh, department. Mm -hmm. I would be uh, The best, uh, uh, I don't know, 
the best manager. No, so. mm -hmm. Yo sería, yo podría ser. Esa es uh, esta, esta estructura que hemos visto hoy. Mm -hmm. okay. Would be a could be. Would be a could be. Exacto. Como no, muchas gracias. Ok, very good. Thank you for staying. Have a good night. And see you tomorrow, ok? See you. Bye bye. Have a nice dream. You too.